the, the, we, we are not we are not saying that uh, some of the issues in Johannesburg are not legacy issues. See, they're not saying that. But what we're saying is the there is visible lending. If you look at the, the checks going to the south, if you look at what's happening in Ward 109, um, the, the, I've, got, I've gone executive <coughs> mayor gone there to say he'll rebuild the illegal structures. If you look at what is happening in Ivory Park, surely you can agree with me that by law enforcement, building control had collapsed in the last three years. So we're talking about things like those. MMCs will announce our executive into, by this weekend. We have announced our executive, um, and just to cover the another, another question, yes, we're going into a formal coalition with uh, with uh, the parties. Um, we are negotiating at the moment uh, who who lead what. We we will be a an all encompassing government, not a government of the DA, but every every party will have a stake. We, we still are talking to parties that I have not mentioned here to see if they want to work with us going forward. Uh, we'll be talking to the leader of the Democratic Alliance as well today to see how we can work together. Uh, we'll be talking to the EFF as well to see how we can work together. So when we say we want to unify Johannesburg, we mean exactly that. The ANC is the largest party in council with uh, uh, 122 seats. Um, so, so we have to recognize the fact that we don't have the 136 to make us a majority party. So we'll work uh, with uh, with all parties in, in, in government. Did the DA councillors vote for me? It was a secret ballot. <coughs> I would not know who voted. All I know is that I voted for myself. And with green fields, we should be part of the that, that, that part, because the only vote that I can vote for is mine. So I voted for myself. So I assume that the ANC caucus kept shape. I assume the parties that work with us, uh, that I mentioned here, voted for us. But for the rest, I don't know. Maybe maybe the three are from the EFF, and the three of the DA voted for the EFF. I don't know. So so where 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 where, where the others where the other, where the others come from? I don't know. Uh, I can't speculate. I saw in the news that they'll have a polygraph test. Let them have it. They'll conduct a polygraph test. Let them be. And remember, this time there were three candidates, and people were voting for personalities. They chose amongst the three leaders, all three regional chairpersons of parties that they've worked with over the last three years in council. So. So we, we came at tops and we appreciate it and we are very thankful. The issue of budget, we, I want to cross that bridge when you get there. In, in, in February, we'll be passing a, 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 a adjustment budget. Now, we, we are not faced by the fact that uh, we, we might not pass budget. We are confident that everyone will have a stake in that budget and that budget will go through. The, the threat that uh, won't pass budget, for me, it's politicking. When we get down to the nuts and bolts, we'll be able to uh, pass budget. Eleven councillors by the SG. I think that's for national uh, national office of the ANC to answer. I am not aware and not negotiating with any DA councillor myself, even politically as the as a, as a regional chairperson of uh, Greater Johannesburg. City power and all other entities. I had said to the city manager earlier on that uh, after the council meeting, we'll be having a session myself and himself to talk about all the concerns we raise and put a, put, put a plan to, to turn around, especially City Power, Job Quarter, pick it up, because these are customer-facing entities that um, uh, we think that may, uh, uh, must not collapse. Uh, city Manager, suppliers not being paid on time. 